Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, and welcome to 2021. What a year that 2020 has been, and what a year that God is preparing for us for 2021. I want to begin by just saying a very big thank you to each and every one of you who have been watching our programs since we began 2020. Thank you so much for supporting the ministry financially. Thank you so very much for linking us to all your friends and connecting us. We appreciate a very, 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 very special appreciation to the Full Gospel Church and the Google Day TV for allowing us to broadcast our programs on your TV station. God bless you, Pastor Fred. We love you and we appreciate your love and generosity. We want to say a big thank you to our team at Gaba Community Church that have kept us going through this season. It's been a very difficult season, but because of what they've done, the media department, I am so proud of you because you made us do what we do. We have been able to go through the nations and all over the world using social media and also using this powerful technology. We thank God for Facebook, we thank God for YouTube, and all that is going on behind the scenes. I want to give a big thank you to each and every one who have supported us financially to be able to do what we do. Keep going and keep doing it. We love you with the love of the Lord. Now, 2020 has not been a very easy day, easy year, but God has been on the throne. As we begin 2021, I want to say a big thank you to God for all that he has done. For me on a personal level, I want to say thank you to God because during this season, especially as the year was ending, we actually had to put our whole family to a total lockdown because some people in my family tested positive. One big thank you is this, that none ended up in the hospital. The Lord healed my people. And today we are celebrating and saying, God, you are a good God. We can't thank you enough. So today, I have a message for us. But before I do, a few things that I want you to also remember. Do you know, my friends, that 2021, we have elections, and they're coming very, very soon. But I want you to know this. We want you to be alive. So please, make sure you're not violent. Make sure you go to the right places. Don't go to the wrong places. Make sure you use your mouth well and speak words that are going to be edifying, not dividing the nation. I know that we are going through some tense situations, but God is on the throne. I also want you to be reminded that COVID has landed. I have to say that there are thousands and thousands of people who have been infected that have not been tested. So wherever you go, just remember this, that there are people that are infected that are all over. But I also want you to know that you may also be infected and you don't know. So make sure you keep social distance. Make sure you are clean. Make sure you avoid public places where you interact and connect with people without, without reason. But also make sure you use this. It will keep you well. So those are things that I feel I need to do and tell you as a pastor. But now I have a message for 2021. Welcome to 2021, the first, the very first weekend, the very first Sunday of 2021. I always tell Gaba Community Church members that, you know, if you go to church on the first Sunday, during the first Sunday of the year, most likely you're going to finish it well. But if you avoid church when the year is beginning, you are in trouble. So this year, I would like you to start the life, start your life, start your year in the house of God. You are going to finish it well. Now for now, for those of you who are on TV, just know this. God is good and we have a message for you. Lord, I pray that you speak to us. Thank you for what you're doing in our hearts. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. And thank you for what you have for us, 2021. I pray that you bless this message. I pray that you use this message. I pray that you activate something inside of us this year that we will face 2021 with faith, with courage, with hope, 
knowing that you are in charge. In Jesus' name, amen. So friends, 2021 is here, and Merry Christmas, and Happy 2021. I have a message for us, and this is the message. Look back, look up, and look ahead. Look back, look up, and look ahead. That's the message I have for us. Why do I have this message? I believe that God has given me the message, and I believe that God has a message for you today. The first statement in that message is this. We need to look back. What does that mean? Remember 2020. What were the biggest surprises for 2020? As you think back, what are some of the things that happened and you say, for sure, God is good. At Gaba Community Church, we have officiated more than 35 weddings. Very many weddings. We started the year with the expectation of having at least 30, 30 weddings of our own people. We ended the year with 28 weddings of our own people. That is good. Remember 2020. What were the most frightening experiences of 2020? What was the most painful experience of 2020? What are some of the regrets that you have and you say, I regret. I regret. Things that happened to you that were so bad. So wrong. So unfortunate. Decisions you made in your life, you say, ah, I wish I never did this. I wish I never took this decision. What are the things that impacted your life most in 2020? What are some of the things that impacted your life? Now, every one of us was impacted. 2020 wasn't a very easy year. It was not easy at all. It wasn't. Negative impact, positive impact. But also, what do you thank God for? You said, my friend, yes, things were not easy, but I thank the Lord. Now, I want to read you a verse of scripture just to give a basis for what I'm trying to say today. Remember, we are talking about remembrance. As we face a new year, we need to remember the past. Psalms 103, verse 2, the Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. So the psalmist is saying that if we are going to live a life that is of value to God, we need to be willing to remember and appreciate the things that God has taken us through, the things that God has done in our lives. That is important for us as Christians so we should bless the Lord, but we should never forget the things that God has done in our lives. Now the Israelites, the Bible tells us that God always wanted them to remember the things that he did for them. There is a season that they had to go through the desert for 40 years. What a season. What a difficult time that there was. But he says in Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 2, you shall remember the whole way the Lord your God has led you these 40 years in the wilderness. That he may humble you, that he may test you to know what is in your heart, whether you keep his commandments or not. Now friends, as we think about 2020 and the things that went through, as we remember those months of lockdown when we couldn't get out, 
as I remember the number of weeks that I had to walk from home to church to come and record the messages. As I remember those days when we had to walk multiple kilometers to go to the bank because vehicles were not moving. As we remember those days when there were floods here in our surroundings. As you remember those days when you are frightened even about your shadow. Those are were tough days. But friends, I am here to say God has been so good. Whoever knew that we could finish those 12 months. Whoever knew that we could raise our hands and celebrate our God. And for me as a person, God has taken me through very interesting situations. And I look back and I say, if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be alive today. So friends, when we remember, it helps us. He says, what it does to us, it humbles us. We realize that without God, we can do nothing. We realize that our life is dependent on the Almighty God. But he also says that when you go back and look, you realize that the tests that you are going through were preparing you for a future that only God has. So friends, it is okay to remember. It is okay to remember. Now I want to go to the next thing. And the next one is look up. The first one, look back. The second one, look up. So what do I mean by look up? Look up to Jesus. Look up to Jesus. As we think about last year, there are things that if it wasn't for God. As we look at last year, we look at regrets. As we look at, there's so many things. But it would be a disservice to ourselves if we just left it at that. The best is to put everything in context of the one who holds tomorrow. And who is that? That is Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. The Savior who took us out of the world and saved our souls. When we put our future in the hands of our God, especially as we think about 2021, it is important to look up to Jesus before we even face the future that is ahead of us. Now friends, I want to begin that looking up by reading for us a very beautiful portion of scripture. This is found in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 15. For we do not have a high priest who is not able to sympathize with our weaknesses. But one in every respect has been tempted as we are. Yet he was without sin. Let us then with confidence draw up to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. I love that portion of scripture. Friend, as we look at 2021, 2020, there are things that you and I regret. You look back and say, mm -mm, I blundered. That was a mistake. I sinned against God. I did not walk the way I should have walked. I misrepresented God. My ways were not as good. I did not treat my family well. I was so hard on them. I was so lazy. Those are things that you could look back and regret. But as we said, as you think back and look back, it is important for you to realize that there is a solution. He says, we have a high priest. And Jesus happens to be the high priest. He says, he went through what we go through. The strains, the pains, the crashes, 
that we go through. Yet he never sinned. And the Bible says he sympathizes with us. Actually, the Bible tells us that he sits at the right hand of the Father in heaven, interceding for us. And he says that as you face a new year, you don't have to face the new year with regrets. You can have a new beginning for 2021. A beginning where you say, I want to surrender my failures to God. I want to surrender my weaknesses to God. I want to surrender my disappointments to God. I want to surrender the things that I failed to God. I want to pick up myself as a new person. Why? Because Jesus is my high priest. And when you go back to him, the Bible says he sympathizes with us. And he says he is actually the one who has opened the way to the place of grace. Where God the Father sits. And we can confidently go to God and say, God, I give my past to you. And I receive my future with you, Jesus. So friends, if you failed last year, don't stay. Hand it over to Jesus. Look up to him. But also we need to look up to Jesus in, a, in another way. And this is a beautiful way too. We look to Jesus with appreciation. I've just shared with you the experience. Actually, I'm going to unpack that in the coming weeks because I want to share the journey that I went through as a family when some of our members tested positive. I reached a time in my life where I realized that money can't help me, where I realized that if God cannot take me through this, I can't go through it. We reached a time when we said, God, we need help, and it's only you can help us. And I look back today, two and a half weeks later, alive and well, none of my family members went to hospital and was hospitalized. Yes, people got sick. And I look back and I say, if it wasn't for God, I would not be alive. I look back at 2020 and I realized that hundreds of our people could not feed themselves, that God enabled our church to provide resources where we fed thousands and thousands of people. How could we raise money in a season where the world's economy is locked down? When I look back, I realize it was God. So then I look up and I raise my hands and I say, thank you, God, for all that you've done for us. That's why I can read for you today Psalms 124, which says this. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side when people rose up against us, if it hadn't been for the Lord when the tempest rose up against us, then it would have been swallowed alive. COVID would have destroyed us. Poverty would have destroyed you. Hunger would have crushed you if it wasn't for God. He says, when their anger was kindled against us, friends, the devil opened a war against the people of God. But the God who sits up there in the heavens rose up a standard. And here we are in 2021 celebrating the goodness of the Almighty God. That's why the psalmist says, then the flood would have swept us away. The torrents would have gone over us. And then we would have had the raging of waters. But he says, blessed be the Lord who has given us, who has not given us to be a prey of our enemies. We have escaped, we have escaped, 
we have escaped. You have escaped from 2020. Praise be to the living God. That's why when I put on a praise and a worship song, I cannot sit still. I will clap my hands. I will jump. I will put a smile on my face. I will shout, shout on the top of my voice because I know if it wasn't for God, I would not be alive today. Friends, it is time to look up and say, thank God for 2020. Thank God for the life that we have. Thank God for the gift of life. Thank God for salvation. Thank God for provision. It is time to praise the Lord. It is time to look up. So friend, as you face 2021, it is time to look up. Realize it is God to take you into the new year. It is God to get you there. Thank Him and praise Him. The third area or the third statement that I have for us today is a statement that we need to look ahead. Remember I said, look back, that is remember, look up. And the third statement I have, look ahead. What does this mean? What this means is that 2020 is a year that we are finished. What that means, that there is a new year that we've just started, and that year is 2021. And God has a big plan for our lives. As Gaba Community Church, we have been praying about what God has for us as a year. And through prayer, we believe and we feel that God is speaking to us that 2021 is the year of restoration. As he says in the book of Joel, whatever the locusts have eaten, the Lord is going to restore. Whatever famines were caused, whatever came and lack and things did not work out, God is mapping a new year for each and every one of us. So as I face 2021, as you face 2021, it is important for you to look ahead into the future. Don't look back and stay in the past. 2020 is gone. You cannot undo the things that happened in 2020. You cannot live in 2020 again. 20 is gone. 21 has come. And in 2021, God says he has a big plan for your life. And that plan is for him to restore whatever the devil had stolen. Is it your ethics, your values, your life? It is a year of restoration. Is it issues concerning your family? God is bringing a restoration. Are there issues concerning your spiritual life? God is bringing back a new day in your life. So friends, how do we face the new year 2021? The book of Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, the Bible says, Therefore, since we have a great cloud of witnesses surround us, surrounding us, let us lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangled us. Let us run with endurance the rest that is set before us, fixing our eyes onto Jesus. Friends who are listening to me today, you have got 12 beautiful months. In those 12 months, I would like you to know, the Bible says that God is on your side. He says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. In those 12 months, the same God that I'm talking about, he's saying, I took you through hardships. 
and I'm going to take you through this year again. So he says, first the year with confidence. But this same portion is telling us something very interesting. He says, we have a cloud of witnesses. Hebrews chapter 11 talks about witnesses usually. It is called a chapter of faith. The people who went through hardships, but they went through. Now friends, we have people who have gone before us, who have faced harder situations like us. But also we have you, who went through a very tough 2020. And I want you to know this. The God who held you during those tough times is the same God who is going to go with you this time. And he's saying, fear not, I am going to be with you. And he's saying, it is time to focus. Lay aside every encumbrance. Lay aside friends that are not helpful. Lay aside habits, things that were time wasters in your life. Put them aside. Focus on the future that God has for you in 2021. And as you focus on this future, he is going to take very good care of you. Now, there are things that you need to know. One, you need to know this is a new year. I want to remind you that it's not a, an old year. Remember, in this new year, God expects you to go and do better than you did last year. And he's saying, I'm on your side. So remember that victory is on your side. Remember that you're going to be unstoppable. Why? Because he says, I'm with you and I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. Remember what God says about you as you face 2021. He says, I will supply your needs according to my riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Which means, don't fear how much it is going to cost. Trust God because he's your supplier. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. So as you face tomorrow, face it by faith, face it with courage, and face it fearlessly. As you face the year 2021, there are a few things that I would like you to know. One, it is important to learn how to forget the book of Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13. Brethren, I do not regard myself to having laid hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is lying behind me and reaching forward to what is lying ahead. I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call in Christ Jesus. This is a portion of scripture written by a man who had known what it means to go after God. This is my prayer for you as you face 2021. You must go after God. You must go after God. If you've been living a half-hearted Christian life, half-hearted faith life, living one leg in the church and one leg in the kingdom and one leg in the world. It is time to focus. Forget the past failures. Leave the past alone. First 2021, knowing that God has a big plan for your life. Do not allow the things that have been hindering you some of you are listening to me. There are some friends that you must divorce right now. I'm not talking about marriage divorce. Friendships that you must cancel. Because this is a year of focus. Yes. Some of you, there are some habits that have been hindering you. It is time to quit smoking. Quit drinking. Quit compromising. And start living a life that honors God. Why? This is a new year. There are new opportunities. We can't play into 2021. God has a big plan for us. Do you hear me, my friends? Do not allow yourself to fall back in self-pity. For a long time, 
We always think that my problems are caused by my neighbors, by my parent, by what I don't have. The Bible says you have everything inside of you to make you successful and to live a godly life. So don't live in self-pity. Pick your pieces up. Leave the rotten lifestyles alone. Leave your weaknesses alone and live for God. I feel that God is speaking to us today. That 2021 is going to be a year of victory. But it's only those who will stand up and face their God that are going to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Ask God to show you opportunities. Don't leave opportunity alone. Don't allow yourself to live in fear. If God puts an idea of a person you need to apply for a job for, call him and say, I need a job. If it's a business idea, bring it up. Rise up. Embrace the new. God is saying it is time to do it. And as I finish today, I want you to know this. It is time to arise for 2021 is a year of restoration. Remember, make sure your relationship with Jesus is where it should be because it centers from there. So if you've been listening to me and you say, I'm coming back to Jesus, after this broadcast, I would like you to kneel down and ask Jesus to become the Lord and the master of your life. He'll forgive your sins. He will change your life. Go back. Find a great, a great church. Go back to church. Connect with church. Get on fire for God. You'll be amazed at what God will do in your life. Reconnect back to your family and your church family. Some of you have not been going to church for a long time. Go back to church. Connect into ministry. Go back to your family. It is time to reboot for 2021 has come. And I pray that you will not lack in zeal because God wants to do big things. I cannot wait for all the things that God has for us. 2021. We love you with the love of the Lord. And I want to say this to Gaba Community Church. This month, January, we are going to spend three weeks in the presence of God, praying and waiting upon God because great is this year, 2021. God bless you from Gaba Community Church. We love you with the love of the Lord. Thank you.